Hi everybody, this is Juliana and I have two cards to share with you today. Um, so I've been, um, you know, coloring some images and um, as you know, I love, love the Magnolia stamps. They are so cute. And so I made this card that you see over here and I challenged myself to use the teal, the orange and the brown colors. So really love how this card turned out. Um, here is the stamp by Magnolia. And this is Hello Little Butterfly stamp. She is like so super cute. So um, the paper that I use for this card is by Prima. And it's like this big, big paper pad by Prima. And it says designer scrapbooking paper. There's about 96 sheets of papers. And these are all of the papers that are on this on the stack. It's like super, super big. And the papers are like really, really gorgeous. So I used a bunch of sheets from this paper collection um, for the card. And this paper pad only cost me like eight dollars at one of my local scrapbooking stores so it was such a great deal um but this is the card here and i use one of the spell binders frames here um it's like a square and it has a bigger one and then a the smaller one right there so she's like so freaking cute and then i use um a bunch of the wild orchid craft flowers so there's some in here and some over here on the bottom. Just really love them. And for many of them, I had to use my Lindy's to give it the color that I needed for the card. Um, I also added some leaf trim, leaf trim over here. Some Martha Stewart little butterflies. So that's what the card looks like in the front. And then I added this pleated uh, trim in the back of the card and all the way to the front. So she opens up with Velcro. So let me just open it up here and this kind of goes like this on the side and then there's like a little gate like a little door that opens up like this and I just added some paper in here on the inside the sentiment is by pink paisley stamps and um, I really love it and then I also use one of the spellbinder styles I added some ribbon on the sides and some more stamps and I left a blank just in case I give this card to somebody. I can just write a message on the inside. But I really love these papers. They're like perfect. I love these Prima papers. They're so pretty. So I love the card. And then you just close the card like this. And I'm sure many people have done this before. But this was um, the first card that I make it um, like this. And what I did is I cut the whole card with cardstock and then I just fold it and score it on the sides to make it look like this so then it has this closure on the front so there she is she's so super cute love love this card and I hope you guys like it too the other card I wanted to share with you guys is this card here and this is also using one of the Magnolia stamps and this one is more like fall uh, theme. So I used a lot of browns and oranges and greens and browns. Um, so this card, I cut it with black cardstock. I added some paper, designer paper on the inside. And over here on the back, I used some craft paper. And then I added this spooky tree that is by Sissix. I love it and I use a bunch of my Lindy Stemken products to color it um, and then these are some of the leaves that I make with my new Tim Holtz Tatter um, leaf dye that I really love so I just kind of like um, color it, stamped it and I put some um, stickles in there to, um, I also added some recollection leaves um, there's Tilda which is so cute She's sitting on the fans, and this is my, um, the Bon Bujaj Tilda stamp, which is so pretty. Um, and so she's sitting on the fans in there, and, um, I added a Prima flower, it had some feathers, super gorgeous in orange. And then I added some crystal leaves and some more recollection flowers. And on the top here, I added some trim. So that's what the card looks like. It's very fall theme. Really love how it turned out. 
And I also left the blank in there to write a message for a friend. So that's what that looks like. I hope that you guys like the cards. So I just wanted to share that with you. I've been making cards like crazy. I just really, really enjoy making them. And I really love how they're turning out. So let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. And thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Enjoy the pictures. Bye-bye.